breaking news. The Crystal Skate Palace has reopened under new ownership as Skate Matrix. When Skate Matrix first opened up in 1984, it was known as the Temple Hills Skate Palace. Since then, it has closed down and reopened multiple times under different names. I'm super duper excited about Skate Matrix because this time it is skater owned and skater operated. One of the owners is Kenneth Rollo Davis. I met Rollo when I was in college. He was doing a parade with Rollo Wave Productions. That's his skate education as well as entertainment company. Well, I went to the Evolution of Skating Volume 2 to learn more about Rollo. He was born in DC, but he moved to Massachusetts as a child. There, he started roller skating with his friends. And get this. He would rent skates and keep up with them while they rode bikes. Starts his performance career in Boston, and eventually he moves back to DC. When he comes back to DC, he was performing under the name Rollo the Clown, but eventually he would go on to do shows and have a rich legacy of performance and education inside of the district. Now he's taking all of that experience to running Skate Matrix. In order to celebrate the ring reopening, I wanted to go down and show everybody what it's looking like inside and tell everybody why Skate Matrix is one of my favorite rinks to visit in the entire world. Well, first, Skate Matrix is a spacious rink. It's 64,000 feet. That means there's space for a main rink as well as a side rink and even space to warm up on the side. In addition to the skating rink, there's also a cafe and an arcade. I love the arcade games and my favorite part is air hockey. Well, when I first got to the rink, I stopped, put my skates in the locker and then I warmed up on the side. I always warm up on the side before I get on the rink floor. Like after I finished warming up my body and warming up on my skates, I came off and I refueled before shooting my main videos. So I went to the Skate Matrix Cafe and I got some food. I love the Skate Matrix Cafe because it is a real kitchen with real fryers. I was able to get some fried chicken wings and some fries as well as a Gatorade that helped me fuel up and get ready to shoot my videos at the end of the night. So I went to the practice skate floor and I got it in. I've been working on my break dancing and my Michael Jackson impersonation. So I was super happy with what I was able to put down. I also noticed that my spin has gotten so much better, even though I haven't skated once since the summer. It's probably all of the conditioning. Well, that's another amazing night at Skate Matrix. Until next time, see you boss Tweezy.